Yo, welcome people, Sanju Uche here, welcome back to the channel, and you know, shoutouts to the new and return subscribers. <sighs> so, Boruto Manga Chapter 38 has come and gone, um, probably one of the best chapters in recent times. Granted, a lot of the chapters in the recent times have been, like, it's been just month after month of greatness for the most part, and you guys who have been reading pretty much know this. Um, of course, fair warning, this video will contain spoilers for Boruto Manga Chapter 38, for the manga in general, and for those of you anime watchers, this will contain spoilers for you guys as well. So, yeah, fair warning. So let's get right into today's discussion as we discuss Chapter 39 and beyond, what could possibly happen and, you know, the routes we can take in terms of the story. Today's discussion, as you can already tell by the video title and thumbnail, is that today I really wanted to talk with you guys regarding... Boruto and the path that he needs to take are what he could possibly do to get much stronger over the course of the next, you know, three, three, two to three years store in store in universe time, of course. So, yeah. <laughs> so, if there's one thing that Boruto chapter 38 showed me is that honestly, Konoha is pretty much out class, and I already did a video. You know, discussing um, that, you know, Kano's whole class, or even discussing things like Boruto becoming stronger than Naruto, what he could do, and stuff like that. But with the fact, with chapter 38, Naruto and Sasuke basically got demolished, and they're the two strongest persons on Earth. So, how is the new generation going to level up to even be comparable to characters like Jigen, or should I say, Ishiki Otsutsuki? And not to mention the rest of Kara. Granted, I don't believe the rest of Kara are going to be as strong as Ishiki Otsutsuki, but considering that Delta was comparable to suppress six paths Naruto, then honestly, the rest of Kara are more than likely going to be on that level, if not a bit stronger. So Kono has their work out for them. And honestly, even if we take the time skip into consideration with the fact that Kono was destroyed, then honestly, even <laughs> it seems that you know discussing ways and means for Kanoa to even train to actually prevent our fight against Kara might be probably probably a pointless discussion. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, this video is about Boruto Uzumaki specifically, the main character. Now, in terms of Boruto reaching. Naruto's level, much less Ishiki. As I said, it's something I've discussed already, but with chapter 38, let's, I found it, you know, it, it makes sense to even to revisit the topic. So we have a few things that we can actually consider for Boruto Uzumaki that could, you know, not make it feel like bad writing or an asshole in terms of powering up to getting, get him to at least Naruto's level in terms of power and skill where I'd say at least war arc, the end of the war arc, the Fort Great Ninja War, um, I could see Boruto getting to that point if we go through all these points here. So, first thing, the Jogan. As of episode 125 of the anime, they brought back the Jogan again after a lengthy period of time. Now, this eye technique was said by Urashiki in episode 125 to be a troublesome eye technique. Now, for an Otsutsuki to say that, um, obviously, it's going to be key or a major part in leveling up Boruto. Now, in terms of introducing it in the manga, that's going to be key to actually seeing how Boruto goes from point A to point B in terms of power and actually figuring out what else it can do. So, there's definitely that to look forward to. They haven't shown it in the mangas yet, but well, apart from chapter one, <laughs> yeah, they haven't shown it as yet, but we really need to get that. And honestly, that's kind of dependent on them tying up loose ends between the anime and the manga with I guess the two well the three main things that need to be tied up from the anime and the manga would be the Jogan, um, the fate of certain characters and what else could I say Jogan and Urashiki of course those three things need to be tied in tied up in the anime just to establish that link back to the manga so Boruto can have that first thing to add to his arsenal in terms of catching up to Naruto Sasuke and Urashi and Ishiki Otsutsuki. So that's one. Two, we've been seeing ever since the end of the Momoshiki arc that they seem, the writers seem to be, I guess, leading more towards this Kurama Naruto kind of dynamic 
where Boruto and Momoshiki is concerned, we've seen instances where it's highly implied that Momoshiki is still alive. And honestly, that's a good thing. Putting that in place for Boruto to get a power up is going to be key. Because basically, and what I can see, obviously Momoshiki is linked to the karma and similarly to all we've gotten up to this point with Jigen, Kawaki, Ishiki, it seems that the Otsuskis can link themselves to the karma marks. Um, not confirming or denying this but it's just based on what I've observed with all we've gotten up in the manga up to this point. Ishiki is, cause even look at it like this. Kawaki, for the most part, his karma transformation, at least his quote-unquote stage 2, he has a similar horn to Ishiki or Tsutsuki, or at least when Jigen powers up to his second stage. So, considering he got that karma from, from Ishiki doing experiments, it seems like it's a way for the Otsutsuki to coexist with the, the, the future vessel, if you get what I mean. Um, similar, it's kind of like a Jinchuriki kind of thing. I kind of did a video on that as well. <laughs> kind of plugging my own videos here. But you get the point. Um, so yeah. Boruto figuring out how to actually tap into Momoshiki or at least mastering the Karma Seal. That's going to be very essential in terms of him leveling up. Now, if we combine these two things and then add it to the fact that he's much more skilled than Naruto was at when Naruto was that age and the fact that considering how chapter 39 and beyond goes I'm pretty sure Sasuke once he recovers is going to be in like prep mode like serious <laughs> train to the death kind of dealings in terms of prepping other characters even himself more than likely i'm gonna do a video on probably sasuke's next move or something like along the line so look out for that so yeah those three things and i feel within the next three two to three years in universe boruto is going to be at a very decent place he's going to be at least more than likely more than likely <laughs> don't quote me but yeah but yeah more than like he'll be at least at the end of the well, like right after the fourth great ninja war naruto in terms of power at least i'd say um but and when you really look at it that way it kind of gives way for things not to be how should i put it just it's not going to be an ass pull at the end of the day so that's the important part <laughs> things when you actually i feel like when you actually power up characters at the end of the day within a story it has to make sense within the context of the story like based on everything that we've been given so far if you show me x y and z then then fine yeah it makes sense i i feel if we follow those points boruto more than likely that's the road are the path that he's going to take to become you know rise up to that level now, uh, this video is not about them, but the members of <laughs> the other members of the generation aren't going to be as lucky. But it's going to be interesting to see what routes they take to become that powerful. Um, I guess I could do a video like this on Serata and Mitsuki. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Of course, again, shout outs to the new subscribers. I appreciate the support. All subscribers that have been here for you know a while or even recently then you know shout out to you guys too i appreciate the support um of course i did watch episode 125 of boruto i kind of did it as a live reaction but um i guess the way i did it it wasn't like suitable you know copyright and all those things so nah. i guess if it's sorted out you'll see it up i did upload it but of course it's blocked but anyway, um, Sanjiro Chia, rate, comment, subscribe. Hope everyone's having a great day or whenever you're listening to this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.